a demonstration of how to tie a airplane tied down using a rope. Um, I'm first going to show you the wrong way to do it. Uh, the common way we've always tied airplanes with chains, we use a, a knot, you know, a, a series of knots like this. And uh, as long as conditions are calm, that all looks like the airplane's tied well. But as soon as we get a load on it, these knots will slip and the rope will go loose, slack. And slack rope breaks airplanes. It needs to be tight. Um, and how tight? Remember that all your airplanes are stressed for at least minus one G. So this airplane weighs 1,300 pounds. My weight on, on this, it's almost impossible for me to put too much pressure on this plane because the plane's stressed for a lot more than, than I weigh. So, um, so we want it snug. You don't have to try to break the plane, but your dangster needs to be tight, no slack. So instead of having that knot that will slip, what we do is tie an overhanded loop in the rope like this. And of course, this is the this is in the end that's attached to the ground that I have the loop in. And when we bring this rope through the loop, the tension on the the, the now tightening slack end will hold this twist in this loop so that it can't come untied. And then I'll slide that up until it's as tight as I can get it. Now when the knot's done, I want this rope pulling up and that one's pulling that way to keep the, the tension on that loop. So what I'm gonna do is go, are you backed away enough you can see all this? I'm going around this, through this loop and back down through here. And pull tight and there you go. That knot won't slip and stays tight. And then it's really not too hard to untie. But to untie it, we want to we want to make it twist the way that that it wants to to untie. Should we go through that again? All right. So loop with the with the with a, with a knot on top here. Slack in through the hole. Pull it as tight as possible, which would be about 0.1 negative Gs on the plane. Back down through. That's it.